And the Nobel Prize in Physics goes to... Jeffrey Hinton, University of Toronto, Canada. The news came in an early morning phone call to Palo Alto, California. I'm flabbergasted. Jeffrey Hinton, also known as the godfather of AI, winning the prestigious award alongside American scientist John Hopfield. In layman's terms, they're being recognized as the architects of machine learning software that acts like a human brain, using data to recognize patterns. It powers facial recognition and language translation software. I'm hoping AI will lead to tremendous benefits, to tremendous increases in productivity, and to a better life for everybody. I'm convinced that it will do that in healthcare. Hinton famously stepped down from his role at Google AI last year, allowing him to speak freely about the potential dangers of artificial intelligence getting, well, so intelligent that it becomes a threat to humanity. A Frankenstein scenario he's still concerned about. My worry is that it may also lead to bad things. Um, and in particular, when we get things more intelligent than ourselves, no one really knows whether we're going to be able to control them. His uh, call for arms actually has built a lot of initiatives here in Toronto, Canada and the world that are thinking about how to have safe AI. That's inspired future innovators in the U of T classrooms where he used to teach. Some people call him the godfather of AI and I think it's a, it's a very valid term because he actually has trained a lot of the people that are now uh, leaders in the field. Speaking from Silicon Valley, the now Nobel Prize winner Jeffrey Hinton said, when it comes to innovation, curiosity is key. Letting scientists follow their curiosity to try and understand things. And Canada is quite good at that. And perhaps could even be at the forefront of establishing those safety guardrails the AI godfather has been calling for. Ali Chiasson, CBC News, Toronto.